Today I'm going to show you how to make a hydrating barrier cream. Now let's see how easy it is to put together. Make this beautiful hydrating barrier cream. It's great for protecting the skin from external factors. Okay, so to start we're going to add some glycerin to the water phase. Glycerin is a humectant that feels lovely and hydrating on the skin. And to that we're going to add some actives. Now I've chosen Alantoin, which is a soothing and conditioning active. It's great for dry skin because it helps to seal in the moisture. It also helps to protect the skin from external factors, so it's ideal to use in a barrier cream. Pop that into the water phase. And it's suitable for all skin types. Elantoin is a water soluble up to 0.5%, so I've kept it below this input in the formula so I don't have any issues in solubility in a cold, pro uh, cold process formula like this one. I'm also going to add in another active. This one's niacinamide or vitamin B3 as it's more commonly known. This is fully water soluble so you won't have any issues. This one going into the water phase. Let's give that a little stir. Niacinamide is known for it to help with the cell metabolism, evening out the skin tone. It's great for anti-aging. It also helps to reduce inflammation. Now I'm going to pop in some natticide. Natticide doubles as both a vegetable origin fragrance with a vanilla almond scent and a broad spectrum preservative. Okay, and for our oil phase, I'm going to use some Crotomol GTCC which is a natural light emollient with great lubricancy. And to that I'm going to add some Lipex Shea Light, which is a Shea Butter Ester with excellent spreadability and light silky skin feel. And now for the star of the show. This is Bentone. So Bentone is an emulsifying gel that provides emulsification and rheology properties. It helps to create an extremely stable water and oil emulsions containing high water phase like the one that we're doing today. Uh, it also feels beautifully hydrating on the skin while with, without any greasy afterfeel. I'm just going to pop that on a propeller mixer until that's quite smooth before we put it into the water phase. Now the trick with this is to keep going as you're blending. Okay, so we'll just pop that in. So to that we're going to add the water phase to the bentone. As you can see that's beautiful and smooth before we add to the water phase. So this is our pre-mixed water phase. Pop that in. All the actives have dissolved now. Okay, and we will propel that. Now the trick with Bentone, once you've added it to the water phase, it sort of looks like it's curdling at first. The trick is to not give up and throw out your sample. You just need to keep mixing it. It will go into the formula. You can see it's starting to thicken as the Bentone is blending with the water phase. Just adding in my antioxidant. This is Dermafil Toco 70, just to prevent oxidation in the formula. You can see still it has that 
curdly sort of look to it, so we'll keep going. And that's come together beautifully, lovely and smooth. Just remember the trick to bend tone is to keep propelling. Even when it's looking curdly, you keep going, don't give up. Okay, I'll just take that off now. You can see that beautiful, rich consistency. So easy, no heating. And that's how easy it is. Beautifully smooth emulsion. You just have to pop it aside for it to reach its full viscosity and then you will end up this beautifully hydrating non-greasy barrier cream. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to put together a hydrating barrier cream. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe to receive notifications on videos just like this and email us at info at personalcarescience.com.au for free formulas. Happy formulating!